A tater cuff repair is a surgical procedure that involves repairing of, as the name suggests, the rotator cuff, which consists of four muscles, the most important of which is a very large muscle called supraspinatus, and it's generally a repair of supraspinatus alone, although other muscles may be repaired depending upon uh, whether or not they're damaged. The rotator cuff is part of the system that moves the shoulder, and supraspinatus is a slightly unusual muscle in that it's inside the shoulder joint. It's prone to becoming damaged as a result of the fact that it's a very large tendon with a poor blood supply, but also because it suffers from impingement, i.e. it gets caught by bone and soft tissue from underneath the acromion, and this results in wear. It's also an age-related condition, and by the age of 90, everybody will have a complete tear of the rotator cuff. Surgical repair of the rotator cuff is indicated when conservative treatment has failed. And it's quite common for patients to have physiotherapy treatment, for them to have injections and arthroscopic debridement before considering surgical treatment. In terms of the surgical treatment itself, it can be done one of three ways. It can be done via the telescope, and this is suitable for smaller tears or tears where there's not a large degree of retraction, i.e. the muscle hasn't moved away too far. It can also be done as an open procedure, and quite commonly these days as a mini open procedure, which limits the amount of soft tissue dissection required, which of course means the patient tends to get over it quicker. In terms of the nature of rotator cuff repair, effectively what happens is that the damaged portion of the tendon is removed, a new channel is made for the remaining tendon to be attached onto the head of the humerus, which is where it belongs, and it's usual to use something called a suture anchor, or sometimes more than one, to reattach the bone and tendon together. Effectively, this is usually a metal or other form of an implant that's drilled into the bone, but that provides a very strong attachment so that the rotator cuff can work again. But it's a big muscle and repair of the rotator cuff doesn't always work, particularly as, as I've said, it's often a degenerative process. And overall, the success rate is around 90%. There is an association between smoking and whether or not the rotator cuff will repair following surgery. Therefore, patients who smoke, it's very important they stop smoke, smoking for the period around the surgical repair. In terms of the aftercare, it takes quite a long time to get over a rotator cuff repair and can take up to a year of physiotherapy and other exercises before the full result is seen but most patients will see a significant improvement in their symptoms. In terms of complications, there's always a risk of infection, and as I've said, a risk that the tear will recur, and this risk for non-smokers is around 10%. Unfortunately, as this is a degenerative process, it is possible for the tendon to stretch up again. Sometimes the rotator cuff, and in particular the muscle of supraspinatus, is not suitable for repair as it becomes flaccid, and unable to perform properly, and in these occasions it's common to perform some form of shoulder replacement. Thank you.